Hi, welcome back to channel Train Station 2. Alright, the new event is coming up before that. Let's watch a video from Pixar. Hello, dear managers, and welcome to another episode of Station Announcements. Let's jump right into more information about your favorite game. For those of you that are enjoying Unions, please note that this new season pass begins in May. Many interesting rewards await you, so collect those season points and claim them all. Now for some information about events. Get ready to have your socks officially rocked off when the Rock Festival mini event arrives in Train Station 2 early in May. Help set up a Rock Festival in Region 1 Britain and enjoy the cheering masses rocking out to some great tunes. Now once the festival is over, don't put away your leather jacket just yet as the brand new post-apocalyptic event Train Apocalypse arrives in Train Station 2 to show us a glimpse of an alternative future. Four groups of survivors sieve the barren wasteland for a treasure from the long forgotten past. Which group will you help reach this goal? Now, as a small reward for reaching this far in the video, please feel free to grab this special redeem code that is just for you. And that's all for today, dear managers. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Station Announcements. Please like and share this video with your fellow players and follow our social media channels for more information about Train Station 2. Until next time, see you on the tracks. Alright, so uh, hopefully you've been playing a bit of this Rocks Festival. Nothing much interesting for me. I think generally just claiming a bit of small, tiny rewards. Uh, I think it's <laughs> not interesting at all. So um, for me, I think don't really spend much time. It's a good time relaxing. So uh, this new event, uh, just to share, um, initially I thought there was coming out a zombie coming out, but <laughs> no, no zombie at all. <laughs> so you have to survive a global uh, effect of that. Uh, you have to survive the environment and the conditions that no one probably could so um, this whole event I think generally I go through a few things uh, one of course the raw materials then we go into the manufacturing products of the factory and of course the duration uh, but more importantly I think now let's go into choosing a team right so there are four teams in total you can think twice before you join the team but there's no way you can anticipate which team is better <laughs> so I don't know which team you'll be selecting every time I'm not lucky in this every time I select a team apparently that team doesn't work so do not follow me probably I'll be choosing um, I guess RR <laughs> right? so just random all right just random basis all right so uh, so this real Raiders uh, of course there's this train watch train born and records so maybe don't choose RR if uh, <laughs> you know my luck is really not good in in terms of this so the duration wise is from the uh, 9 of May uh, all the way to 29 uh, of May itself so generally what happened is that um, there will be six competitions and uh, there's a duration you can see from the mass here um, you know uh, the duration left the time left um, this event of course is for players from level 12 and above uh, before we move on the maps I just share with you the fact that um, Normally, after the whole event, you have 48 hours to claim the bending uh, rewards and whatnot, right? So this is the map itself. Nothing much to shout about at this juncture. Probably more interesting when the whole event starts and you see things uh, broken down and uh, you try to fix it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, but apparently, I think the raw materials freak me out a bit. I mean, I'm wondering what goes into the manufactured products, but um, if this is the raw materials, you know what you're getting. So are we saying that we are surviving on vermin? <laughs> <laughs> so you just think about it. All right, raw materials are very and scrapped. And uh, when you talk about manufactured products, what you're thinking of? Food, right? So if you are doing canned food and you're coming from vermin <laughs> that is really disgusting don't you think so oh my god so uh, i don't know how that works but apparently vermin is still makes canned food all right so of course then you have traps probably traps or something else i don't know but apparently the items i'm going through really slow this time um, because sometimes maybe you'll say that well you're too fast all right so again canned food vermin for you and uh, steel <laughs> so that's really disgusting as i mentioned you can see again this is your canned food raw material wow that's really horrendous so um scrap i can understand but not for vermin <laughs> all right so all right so for trap itself um there's vermin and scrap i don't know how how does a vermin goes into the trapped which part of it is it maybe a bait probably probably um, in doing a trap you need vermin as a bait <laughs> right so then you have this something look like a dagger I'm just gonna shift uh, scrapped oh trapped 
how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> no idea at all. Wood I can understand, probably scrap I could. But how does the trap being used to do this? No logical sense in a way, but level of mind. This is Pixar Federation. <laughs> right, so ladder, right? Ladder next. You can make ladder from vermin. Fantastic. <laughs> and you can Okay, very not comment on that. Battery. Battery from canned food. All right. So uh, vermin produce energy, and uh, you need iron powder and copper. I I could understand the the last two, but I couldn't understand how does a canned food work as a battery. <laughs> so gas mask, ladder. I can understand. Oh no. <laughs> how the remaining two items work? I I really could understand, but apparently I think uh, Pixel is just trying to squeeze things in. Um, to m doesn't make sense, but apparently it's just a compounding effect to make it difficult. I mean, you need the prerequisite uh, items in order to do the next item. Alright, so this wasteland key is your event key. Of course, there's a wasteland coin, which is an event coin, and of course we're all familiar with the EP. Alright, so contractors-wise, there are four interesting characters here. Um, I don't know what's what's going into this but I I it's just a bit odd i mean the combination of this four uh i i don't know probably from different parts of the world or different time of the world <laughs> so this is really really interesting uh but i think generally this is um you just gotta go with the flow all right so this doesn't make sense definitely all right so now in terms of the trains um I could understand in a way the design of the train makes sense um, because um, it's all made from scraps. So um, you you can't get good looking trains. Uh, they are quite ugly uh, to speak. Uh, I totally agree. I mean that that goes with the team because you are using whatever available to um, make the train probably. Right. So that's the first one. Um, then came this. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess <laughs> it's just trying to show a bit more in terms of the scraps being used. Um, it's more exposed uh, for this rare train. Uh, uniquely designed though, probably a space event and you take away the center part and you replace it with some <laughs> scraps. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Alright, so then of course the legendary. Uh, this train looks quite familiar. Uh, to ca some kind, I can't recall that event. Some futuristic um, um, trains uh, that we got from the futuristic uh, event itself. So it is probably just a change of color, and and that's about it. <laughs> so I'm not too sure about that. Another legendary to pick up again, um, not eye catching, um, but nonetheless, uh, I guess uh, it works. Uh, apparently, you don't have much choice. Um <laughs> All right, then this. Uh, epic train. Uh, right. So it seems like it's more survival modes whereby you get luggages or, or I don't know what, maybe water, and uh, of course you need uh, locks to survive probably. So this is the few trains. Of course, um, people are paid to win. You get an extra rare train, and this is um probably one of the best design trains um you can think about in terms of that fits into the team. Alright, so um, in terms of the reward system, um, a bit different from the usual, there is yourself, the rewards, as well as the team rewards that they call it. Okay, so there's the event rewards. Um, of course, uh, along the way, the, there'll be events you carry out, you do more, you get more. Then there's a the team rewards, and I said, I'm really bad at this. The, the team, or, or also called the chosen team by me, are are may not be winning so don't join me <laughs> okay so um the the winning team uh would then get more keys all right so that's calculated based on the progress of that team and uh all this also comes towards uh contribution by you and the team members but what's going contributed by you you'll be rewarded as well you'll be rewarded under this contribution ranking um if you go towards top five i think that's really great you get more stuff like quite a lot more <laughs> compared to top 10. Um, I think more importantly is if you're short of those coins, this will help definitely. Um, in terms of the duration, as I mentioned earlier, all competition now comes with six competitions. Unlike the past, it's always seven. Um, we're given the six competitions, um, getting the required uh, event uh, coins and events 
keys may be tougher, um, may, may not be able to claim all the items or rewards, but nonetheless, focus on the first three. Alright, so um, people are willing to spend, uh, then of course you can read more about this, but I'm not advocate for this, I'm not going through all this, because to me it's always a free to play. Uh, I'm not so keen um, in, in doing this, because you pay and you want to win, so be it. Alright, so thank you for watching, do like and subscribe, and let's wait for this long event to happen. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.